Good morning. Some exciting news. Are you excited? Uh, Laxum is in testing. I made a YouTube short about it. And apparently a short is like a YouTube video, except, now stay with me here, it's shorter. So you don't really have to deal with my Shatner-esque pauses. <laughs> Shout out to my boy, Paul Harrell. <laughs> he's, he's a solid watcher, I'm sure. <laughs> um, <clears throat> I've been getting more dialed in on the uh, the new Ryzen system, and it's got a... I can do more stuff with it now, cleanly, quickly, effectively, effectively, <laughs> effectively, efficiently, it's both of those things, effectively. <clears throat> and uh, the thing I'm doing, I think the thing I just did... I'm editing video, that's right, and it, it stinks, it's, it's no fun. <laughs> uh, it is kind of cool though, because now I can take that, uh, that live stream that petered out because I couldn't actually complete that uh, uh, dozen megabyte upload while I was actively streaming, so I'll be able to edit things together and make it look like I could. Uh, but just the potential for being able to uh, take these videos and really cut out. So the deal is, like, I can cut out the dead air pretty easily. Because you can see the waveform, and I'm using Blender. Um, you can see the audio waveform, and it makes it a lot easier to, to figure out where I start talking and where I just shut up and make weird noises. <laughs> But those are also, you know, you can't cut all of that out. That's prime content right there. <laughs> I remember this morning, uh, <clears throat> I remember this morning another video that I was attempting to, um, to edit. And it just didn't, it didn't come together because I couldn't figure out what kind of formatting I was, I needed to do. I literally did it in FFmpeg. <laughs> because the 10 year old system... <clears throat> I, I base I had no faith that it would do anything, be able to handle anything even somewhat recent. <clears throat> I should probably test it just to be sure. <laughs> uh, but th you know, that's one of those things. It's it's not a it's not a hard stop. It's like a soft stop. It's like you get your computer and you're like, oh yeah, I could do some video editing on this and like, uh, let's just skip on that. Maybe we'll maybe we'll do it another time. <laughs> you're not like. I'm going to hit my head against this brick wall over and over until the wall gives in. <laughs> <clears throat> I'm sure there's some serious uh, optimizing and uh, you know custom compile time things you could do to uh, to optimize Blender or some other piece of software to your specific hardware setup and your specific requirements and everything you need and nothing you don't. Um, but even at that point, the best case scenario might still be a really bad editing experience. And editing is bad enough already when it's uh, when it's nice and quick and snappy and responsive. So, <clears throat> um, there is a there is some kind of weird issue. It's kind of odd because uh, Blender uh, the playback stopped, and I was like, oh wait, I hit some kind of button because Blender is just it's it's an array of buttons and commands. <clears throat> I hit some kind of button and I switched to some mode where the playback is not showing properly or something. So I reset it, nothing. Uh, reset my permission or preferences, nothing. Um, deleted a bunch of temp files, nothing. Looked online, eh, some stuff, people kind of talking about different things it might do. Um, we just gonna, <laughs> every single time, every single time. I guess he didn't see me waving. Maybe he's looking at his phone or something. I couldn't quite tell, but... It's like, you go. No, you go. Okay. Okay, that's long enough. We'll go at the same time. Oh, no, no. We're going at the same time. Stop. Okay, hang on. Uh, no, you go. You go. <laughs> Repeat. Uh, <clears throat> so I've had some issue with the playback, and I'm like... 
I don't know what it is, and I don't know enough about Blender to actually be able to search what it should be. And I don't think, I don't know what's going on, but I kind of feel like there's some kind of video cache somewhere that's being filled up. Like, I, I can smell it. This is my tech, uh, my, my troubleshooting sense. I was thinking about that. I've got like 20 years in troubleshoot, over 20 years in troubleshooting at this point. And that is probably the skill I am best at. Yeah. yeah pretty consistently across all my, all my working life and before working life too. Just straight troubleshooting. <laughs> Just logic problems. I have this ele these elements. When combined, they stop working. What do? When you put it like that, it's rather easy. You start removing stuff until things start working, and you start adding them back. But at this point, I'm I'm uh, I'm verging on ESP because I'm like this this smells like a video problem. I can feel it. I feel it in me bones. Um, so I rebooted the computer, and up it came. And I'm running a <clears throat> I'm running a compiled version of Blender. So it's not like there's any extra like bonus install things that might be weird. Uh, it's possible I need to tweak the build, but I could I could tell something was was caching weird. So I went into the settings and poked around and found something that was like on disk cache or something. I'm like, okay, let's activate that and let's just see what happens. And I haven't had a lockup since then, so I can I can I can sense it. It's my my, uh, my troubleshooting sense is tingling. Uh, right, so I had a, you know, let's see, we're talking about the hard stops, yeah, hard stops and soft stops, it's, it's not really worth getting into, <laughs> like, I could dig into this and have a really horrible time, and then successfully accomplish having a bad experience with the software, <laughs> having a marginal, <laughs> a very frustrating experience, uh, that was before, that was previously impossible, <laughs> This, this frustrating experience was brought to you by hours and hours of diligent work. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> so, you know, do the thing with the right thing. Use the right tool for the job. And uh, the 10-year-old uh, the Athlon 2 was, uh, was not the right tool. Uh, so I had tried cutting up that video with FFmpeg. And I, I made some progress. But then, like, the audio got messed up. And I had to remux the audio and then re-chop everything back up and you know me I'm a terminal guy so I was like I was just running scripts over and over again to regenerate all these files <laughs> and I got lost in the weeds or I hit something that I couldn't quite adjust and I think the audio got seriously off I'm not sure what, quite what happened but uh, remembering that I'm able to uh, to grab that video and drop it into to Blender and actually release that uh, ridiculous video that uh, probably no one cares to see. <laughs> it was just like, it, it wound up being a weird one. I don't even know what I was doing. I was just like messing around with a Raspberry Pi or something like that. I think it was installing weird software or something. I don't remember. But I'll find out when I, I scrub, rack, scrub rack through it. When I scrub rack through it. Um... Uh, <laughs> I was like, I'm going to need more coffee. Oh. Oh, praise the Lord. Uh, yeah, so I was like, I'm going to need more coffee and less ice. Because I normally fill that container up with ice and then I pour hot coffee over it. Because cold brew coffee takes forever and I don't care about the bitterness. And it's just like, I don't know, it's good. And then you can drink the coffee and the ice melts, so your your coffee becomes more water. It, 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 it eases down the, the fan curve on your CPU. I know what that is. I was messing with that. I'm, I'm a very professional motherboard guy. Um, the fan curve on your coffee, the caffeine, it, it slopes downward easily, evenly. Uh, <laughs> but today I was like, ah, it's probably going to need more. I need more juice, so I used less ice. So I put the ice in and poured the coffee on. And then took a sip, and I'm like, it's it's warm. I can't have warm coffee. That's gross. Especially not through a straw. So I was sitting here thinking, like, I have to wait till I get to work to add more ice. And the, the coffee level's already maxed out. We can't, we're going to have to sit there and slurp off the top while we add ice cubes. But uh, apparently it just took a little bit of time to, to cool down. So we're fine. We're fine here. It's, everything's fine. 
How are you? Good. You can talk, I can hear you. Really? I can't believe he did that. <laughs> he would do that. Isn't that right, John? I don't know, your, your name's probably not John. But if it was... Oh, that's such a weird thing. There's like... So, uh, people talk about, like, toxic fandoms and stuff like that. And there's actually, like, history to that. Like, in the 1800s, there were... There was dudes with toxic fandoms. And it has more to do with a small percentage of the population that is literally insane. Literally insane, like... Like, the radio's telling me to do stuff. Insane. And, uh, it happens most often with anyone who has any type of mass, uh, mass appeal or mass audience. So the more massier your audience gets, the more likely you are to have some, uh, literal crazy people, uh, coming after you or to you or sending you weird messages. <clears throat> uh, there's, there's some stories I don't want to repeat that I, that I heard of. So it's a, it's a thing. Um, but the idea of like the, the radio talking to you, that's, that's one of those things that, uh, <clears throat> is extremely common with radio personalities because they, they're like seeing patterns into stuff. And this is like where, where, where too much, uh, too much intelligence gets, uh, <laughs> gets you, it <laughs> really gets you. Um, you see patterns in things and they hear the, the radio personality talking and they're like, oh, what did he mean by that? Oh no, he's, he, he's referring to the, the breakfast I had yesterday. How dare you talk about that? And in front of the whole world, at, they'll like send letters, like aggressive letters and show up with guns at these radio places to try to get the host to stop talking to them. Um, I forget when it was, but America shut down a lot of, uh, uh, mental health facilities in the interest of freedom, um, which, as we're learning, freedom is uh, is uh, not all it's cracked up to be, and I think it's something that is being used as a cudgel to take advantage of people. <laughs> and it's a cudgel that people hit themselves with. <laughs> that's kind of humorous. There's no there's no structure, there's no order, and they tell you that that's a good thing. Realizing that it's that it's very much not. Um, you need to have submission to authority because if there is no submission to authority, then there is no then you are your own god. And when you are your own god, well, <laughs> you are you are governed by the laws of your desires, which uh, humans uh, not that great, not that great at running themselves. Where on earth were we? Yeah, so that video is funny. <laughs> and my coffee is cold. <laughs> I'm just thinking about this video. Like, there's a lot of lags that wind up on, uh, I just delete because there's too much dead air. Um, I, I, <laughs> I usually don't delete them because they're too all over the place. Because <laughs> all over the place is not, is usually not a problem. Uh, <laughs> So, uh, I'm just imagining during these pauses, uh, scrubbing through them on Blender and being like, cut, 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 cut. No, 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 <laughs> You'll thank me when the, the vlogs are, uh, the vlogs are 30 seconds long. <laughs> this one seems pretty solid though, so, you know. The, the magic of editing, oh yeah, I forgot about this. <laughs> Woohoo! Forgot about it last time too. Uh, <laughs> this guy was going slow, and I'm like, "What's up with this guy? What's this guy trying to?" Oh, right, right, right. Sorry. <laughs> okay, what is up with this guy? <laughs> it is good that you are so cautious, driver. It's very good. These are 
these are good things. This is good. Good, good, good. Um, yeah. Mm, things are going, things are going smooth. There's some, you know, for getting Blender running, there was a few little tweaky things I had to do, and there might still be more tweaky things I have to do. But, uh, you know, I'm up for, I'm up for it. Um, I was thinking about the, the Manjaro thing, and while I was actually looking for support on the, uh, the issue I was having, <clears throat> I was like, ah, well, you know, I have to say I'm on Manjaro while I'm, while I'm searching for this, because who knows what the Manjaro <laughs> install is. It is something that makes you a smaller percentage of the Linux population, so it's not like, hey, Blender doesn't work in Ubuntu. You type in anything doesn't work in Ubuntu, and you'll get a thousand hits back. But uh, Manjaro, not so much, because Manjaro is kind of in that in-between area where people are like, oh, I actually I use Arch, by the way. Um, and people are like, uh, I just like the rolling releases. I just, Manjaro, you know, I was thinking about it <laughs> while I was troubleshooting this. I was like, nope, it's not worth it. I'm not going to do the, the full Arch the full arch thing. My computer is not my project. The projects that I'm working on are my projects. <clears throat> I have no desire to spin wheels on this. And if I figure things out, you know, if I could snap my fingers and have a, a complete working uh, arch install and know and be intimately familiar with it sufficient that I can troubleshoot things, uh, I would. Uh, but I can't, so I won't. Uh, in, in, if this Manjaro install continues to be a problem, I'm just going to put Debian on it. I, I don't care. <clears throat> so, so far though, I do really appreciate the rolling release and the easy updates and uh, the easy software installs. Uh, I haven't messed around with the AR or A A U A U R yet, so I understand that there's some some uh, caveats to be mTORed there. <clears throat> So we'll see what happens with that. But so far, I am liking it. I am using KDE Plasma, and I'm. It's kind of funny because I'm in the video. I, I fumble around a lot because I'm not sure, and I'm doing like i3 controls and commands. So <laughs> it's like, oh, this is easier. I, I'm confused. I don't understand. Can you make this more difficult? <laughs> All right. <clears throat> 